Good day. In this short tutorial, I would like to explain to you how to use eBook Central to get access to electronic books. From the university's homepage, you click on Library. Then under the Resources tab, you will see Electronic Resources. You click on Electronic Resources. Scroll down a bit. You get a notice regarding copyright, just the do's and the don'ts. Read through that. Click on Accept. Scroll down a bit and there you will have the database link. You can click on that and then you scroll down and we can click on E to take us to eBook Central. As I said, this is a platform where you can access electronic look books. It is um, managed by ProQuest and it works like an ordinary library. So you will also the, borrow the books from this platform for a day or for two weeks. And then automatically after that period, the books will disappear from your screen. So you will have a search box here. I'm going to search for books on online learning. And then I click on search. And there you will see there's over 66,000 books on electronic learning or, or online learning. And you can look at the various titles and you can decide, right, I want to have a look at one of these books. So let's say this theory and practice of online learning. I want to borrow this book. So I click on the title. And you will see you have a link to read it online. Then you can just refer to a chapter or two and read it online. You don't need to borrow it. But then you cannot print um, some of the chapters. If you download the book, you will then have an option to print uh, chapters or download certain chapters. So you will see I've clicked the download option and I click on continue. This is just your normal campus login details that you use to log in. Uh, it's the password you use for internet access on campus or to access your Blackboard. It's just to sign in. Right now you will see you can download it on various devices. Just keep in mind when you download it on the laptop, you will only be able to see the book on the, on the laptop. If you download it on an Android or a tablet or your phone, then you will only be able to access it on your tablet or your phone. So I'm just going to stick to the laptop option and then I'm going to continue. Very important, you must have a dope digital edition on your laptop to read the electronic books. If you don't have, click on that link and it will download it free of charge. I already have it, so I'm just going to say done with this step. And now you will have the option on the loan links. You can borrow it from for one day up to 21 days. I'm just going to select one day and I'm going to select the PDF format and I click on download. Right, so now the book is being downloaded. You will see there at the bottom and you can click on open. If you get this message, you can just cancel it and you can just close it. Right, and I'm going to close this tab as well. I'm going to click add to bookshelf. Um, you can create a folder. I've got research and I'm going to say add item and I'm going to click done. So now when I scroll up and I go to bookshelf, I will see the books that I've borrowed. And there is the theory and practice of online learning, the one that I just recently downloaded. You will see once again, you can read it online and there you have the table of content. I'm going to click on the title in order for me to see the chapters. And you have various tools there at the top as well. So you can see now you have your table of content over there. Let me explain the tools. Um, if you want to print, if you click the print button, you will see that you can print from page 1 to page 20, but a maximum of 194 pages. Right, so that's the maximum amount of pages that you can print from this particular book and you can indicate which um, chapters you want and you can also decide on the reference technique, should it be in the Harvard method, the APA or the Chicago. Right, so if I click Harvard and I can then put in I want page 20 
up to where I want. All right, I'm just going to close this. This is just to show you how to print the PDF and that there's a limit on the amount of pages that you can print. You will have an option, for example, if you open part one, you will also have an option to print. And once again, you can indicate the pages. If you download this in PDF and you save it, you will have the content. It will not disappear. So if you want to include it in the study guide, you can print, for instance, part one, and you can um, submit your dollar forms, and you can include that then in your study guide. That's why I say it's better to download the book than just to read it online, except if you just quickly want to reference to the book. But if you would like some of the material to be included in your study guide, remember the print option that you have there, and then the pages that you can print. Uh, the PDF, once again, if you download in PDF, you have the various reference styles in which you can download. This is very handy to borrow books from eBook Central. There's really a lot of electronic books available, more electronic books that you might find on the catalog as we are moving to buying more electronic books so that more people can have access to the books, especially our distance students. So please make use of eBook Central and search for books and download the books and you can read the books those that you save in PDF will remain on your computer but otherwise it will automatically disappear after you have borrowed it for one day or 21 days right and then you can just sign out when you're finished and you click simply click on sign out I hope the short tutorial was helpful but please do not hesitate to contact the library if you need additional help accessing the electronic books